Hello and welcome my fellow Wasteland survivors. Nasty Bones here and in today's video I'd like to talk about and kind of show off a mod that I've grown quite fond of over the last few months. Uh, it has just literally taken group select almost completely out of the picture. Now this is kind of a look over of the mods I use. I do use unlock settlement objects. Uh, you do have to have this particular mod first and then it has several plugins that go with it. It's pretty good. It's got a lot of neat stuff. And here we go, the mod I'm talking about, Place Anywhere mod, or PAM as I like to call it. This is an excellent, fun, and very useful mod. If you're building and using mods to build, you've got to have this one in your lineup. And let's go check it out real quick. Over the next couple of demonstrations, I'm just going to gloss over a couple of its features and some of the effects that it causes by using them. Now it is pretty straightforward, it's pretty easy to understand and with a few tips that you see here today you'll be using it like a pro in no time. Now the first thing you need to know is PAM doesn't work unless you place the object out first and then you can go ahead and access it. Now these are the different options I've set up. Place at location, positioning, scaling, resizing, physics, object properties, settings, and exit. In settings you can set your menu up however you would like, whichever buttons you would like to use. Mine particularly are X to activate it, B to place it where I want, or A to select. And once again I'll just place it here in the air. And with place anywhere you can really put it pretty much anywhere. Now you can't make it go in a lot of things but you can pretty much put it anywhere. Now let's talk about the scaling and resizing. Now this is pretty cool. This is really cool. But be warned there are some side effects that happen by rescaling it. You can do it at 0 0.5, 0 0.1 and you can repeat it over and over as much as you want. Now, this is what happens when you scale something. The game still thinks it's exactly the same size as it was when you started. So as you can see, I'm walking into the chair because I'm actually bumping up against the chair that the game thinks is really there. Now, if you just go ahead and place it back in your workbench, it just resizes itself and you can start all over again or there is a function that says uh, reset scale. Now let's talk about something bigger and making it smaller. This is where it can kinda get tricky. Just as it did when we made something smaller bigger and the game thought it was the same original size, it works the same way when you make something bigger smaller the game still thinks that the object is still the original size even though visually it's not. Now there are a couple of things that happen because of this or results because of this. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and shrink this down 0.6 actually I did five, uh, point negative 5 and then point negative 1 and there's going to be a wall here and I'm trying to find it and I'm not when I realize oh it's clear out here and look how far away the barrier is this is where the game thinks the wall is actually at but the visual or the graphics of it show it in a different location now when you try to snap an original size wall to it it still snaps exactly the same right in the center just our other wall smaller and it doesn't snap anywhere else but let's see what happens when we resize this one down to match the size of the other wall. And I'll scale it down to 5, I'll scale it down to negative 1, and it's a total of 6, so it's the same size. And we'll see if it'll snap. Now one thing if you noticed, when I aimed right at it and tried to pick it up, it didn't register. That's because the, the object looks it like it's in a different place than what the game thinks it is so you're always offset a little bit and what I'm doing is I'm looking for the snap points to find out where they're at 
And here's the one. We already seen the other one on the other side. This one was kind of hard to find. And you can see it's trying to snap right there because now it thinks that's where the wall is at in the game. And it just creates these little invisible barriers and it'll make it hard to walk through or buy if those are close to the ground. So be aware that they can really hinder your movement and you won't know why. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the repositioning. I've kind of lined it up here where I want it a little bit and there's two things that we can do one is we could hold down a and the right bu uh, left bumper and use the left joystick to move it up and down but when you let off sometimes it drops back down now what you can do is you can go ahead and hold a and the left bumper move it to where you want and while holding it press X it will activate Pam and then you can place it there but for this demonstration I want to show you how the repositioning or the position menu is and it even has a rotate left and right in it as well now we're gonna go ahead and move it up and for some reason the very first time you activate it it doesn't read it but when you back out or exit out of it see like we're almost level see how it popped up it read that very first uh, time that you uh, activated it and here we'll sh see it real quick I'll only do it one time and if you watch it doesn't move see it didn't move now let's go ahead and yep see it didn't move now exit out and see as soon as we exit it out bumped up nice and straight so this is a great way to reposition your pieces and get them in the way you want. You can move them forwards, backwards, and now what we're going to do is we're going to check out what the rotating is. Now when I first thought this, I thought it might have meant on like a 90 degree, I guess is how you would say it, but it doesn't. It actually rotates it from the axis of the original sized piece from the center right or left so it just does it clockwise or counterclockwise but it does it from the center point axis of the original size of the piece when you use it so keep that in mind when you're using the rotating option alright one more thing about positioning and we're gonna use this gun turret here there are several objects in the game which I couldn't discover them all so that's not important right now because it all works the same but as you can see it's still green in the wall once again that's because the game doesn't think the walls actually there now I didn't really need to use the place anywhere um, part right there I just did it anyways but what I want to show you is what happens when we go to reposition it let's say we want to move it to the right it brings you out of work mode and when you look at it it gives you the option to nudge it and you can continue to nudge it all you want to until you get it in the desired spot now it'll always say nudge unless you interact with something in the environment like talk to a settler or access a workbench or something it'll continuously say nudge and it doesn't matter which direction you look at it you'll still always nudge it in the original direction it was going when you told it to go right and you will find two or three or four objects in the game that this applies to and once again remember when you do these walls and you make them smaller than what they are or anything smaller you're gonna get invisible walls and those are a couple of the little issues you're gonna deal with when you're using it okay well as the final part of the video I wanna show a little trick that I use for moving static objects around and in a second I'll show you what a static object is but this small engine repair sign is one it's a static object and I really want it on this wall and as you can see it just won't snap on there and the only way that I can use Pam is to actually turn it green repick it back up and then put it on the wall with the place anywhere mod but since I can't do that that mod is now useless for a static object 
and a static object is something that you can't move. As you can see, it's highlighted yellow. All I can do is scrap it. It'll be there forever unless I scrap it. This tree as well, that's a static object. And here we go. Here's the little trick. We're going to jump into the concrete section. We're going to pull out the concrete pillar. And we're going to use the old group select trick. And even though we have this really cool mod that helps us out, we still once in a while have to revert back to old school days and uh, use the group select to put it where we want. And by doing this, you can actually move any static object or item that you find in the game. You're not stuck with putting it down and then it's there forever. And yay, I got my sign on the wall. Now I'm happy. And, you know, you're going to find a lot of trees and a lot of cars, junk cars and stuff in the mods. And once you place them down, they're static. You can't move them again. And this is a great way to move them around, sink them in the ground, and make it look, you know, really old and cool. Now, another thing to keep in mind, that PAM does not work while you're doing group select. It's not even an option. So... Don't try it. You can't place anything anywhere when you're using group select. Okay, everybody. Thank you very much. I do appreciate your time today. And, you know, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And uh, hit that like button. Also, please, support me. Subscribe. Appreciate it, guys. Thanks. Until next time, stay safe.